After Pep Guardiola's 12th Manchester derby victory, we thought we would look at how his tactical evolutions at Manchester City have seen his team win five of the past seven Premier League titles. First is arguably the best Premier League team of all time, the Centurions. Pep managed to form his perfect 4-3-3, and this was the first season where we began to see the 3-2-5 attacking shape that countless teams duplicate across Europe. Here, the left-sided fullback drifts infield to play as the second deepest midfielder, with the right-back tucking into more of a right centre-half position. And for Manchester City that campaign, it was David Silva and Kevin De Bruyne that were pushed on into the half spaces to form a wide front five. A massive injury blow to summer signing Mendy called upon Fabian Delph, traditionally a midfielder, to slot in at left-back, and in hindsight it made a lot of sense. Delph was an old-school English midfielder who could go box-to-box, was good on the ball, and was capable of winning a lot of duels. Therefore, Pep gave him this role as an inverted fullback, and it would lead to Delph having one of the best seasons in his entire career. He averaged the most completed passes and the second most tackles and interceptions per 90 minutes for Manchester City in their first title winning season under Pep Guardiola. Not to mention that Manchester City won 18 out of the 21 games Fabian Delph started in the Premier League. He would later elaborate on just how good of a coach Pep Guardiola was and how he dramatically changed his entire view on football and making him understand the principles of positional play. This was also the first season we started to see the two free eights ahead of one sitting defence midfielder. For Guardiola's idea of positional play, having five bodies across the front line is crucial as he wants to split the pitch into five vertical lanes. His logic is that if an opposition team is defending with a back four, his team will always have a one-man advantage, therefore are able to create gaps between each defender for the eights and wingers to attack through. Pep had now found a way to get both Silva and De Bruyne into his team, bringing both fullbacks inside to give Manchester City a 3-2 shape, meaning that the two advanced midfielders weren't leaving a huge amount of space when they wanted to get forward. At this time, this hyper-possession style was almost revolutionary to the Premier League, Manchester City finished this season averaging 71.9% of the ball in the league, the most of any league winner before this current season since Opta began recording the data. Guardiola had now laid the foundations for his positional play style, but halfway into the 2020-21 season, they struggled to field a genuine centre forward, so turned to the use of the false nine a player who would occupy a starting position between the wingers, but would often drift away from their zone, pulling markers out of the defensive line, becoming more of a passing option, creating disorganisation between the lines, and opening up space in behind the opposition's back line for their teammates to arrive into. This season would also spark a new use of the inverted fullback that was given to João Cancelo. Instead of him inverting just in build-up to help City play out from the back, he became a genuine creator and facilitator in the final third. In the Premier League, he would record the second most carries into the box, passes into the box, short passes and ball recoveries, alongside the third most key passes, overall passes, carries into the final third and progressive passes. But it would be Ilkay Gundogan who got the plaudits. The German had this brilliant understanding for making late runs into the penalty area and it was his partnership that he formed with the false nine that proved vital in this season. He would score the most goals for Manchester City in the Premier League, with no player in the entire squad scoring more game winners than the German, with four of his 13 getting the Blues all three points. On the ball, City would quite often set up with both full-backs narrowing and sitting either side of Rodri. With the same look of the front five, the two more advanced midfielders pushed on into the final third. However, unlike past seasons seeing a 6 and 2 8s, this season was much more of a 6, 8 and 10, with Gundogan becoming more of a forward, running beyond the number nine and regularly scoring goals. Whilst this season was a brilliant success for the Sky Blues, it would be the least number of wins, possession, goals, points and shots they would record in any single Premier League winning season under Guardiola. This brings us to the current day and probably the most drastic tactical shift we've seen from Pep Guardiola. When inverting the fullbacks into midfield, you need a certain calibre of player to be able to deal with them situations when you're being pressed with your back to goal. And for the most part, this wasn't a problem for Cancelo or Alexander Zinchenko, but they weren't defensively strong and this has made Pep Guardiola use traditional centre-halves at fullback, giving his teams more defensive stability, which could also cause a problem of losing elite-level technicians needing to invert. However, Pep Guardiola had a secret weapon in the name of John Stones. The England defender is one of the most technical centre-backs in Europe, and he has the perfect blend of everything a player needs to invert into midfield, with Nathan Ake, Manuel Akanji and Kyle Walker all being better wide defenders than John Stones, so they can naturally play in these fullback positions. 
whilst being comfortable on and off the ball. Because of this, Pep Guardiola has now begun to use John Stones in a way that allows him to step beyond his defensive partners, meaning the wide centre-backs can come narrow alongside Ruben Diaz, and all of a sudden you have the exact same structure in possession as previous seasons, with the key this time being that all the profiles are perfectly comfortable within their roles, meaning that Manchester City can sustain an ultimate amount of pressure. But the use of John Stones has gone way beyond just using him as a deeper midfielder in possession. Against deep blocks, he is often becoming the third man in attack, breaking lines with not only his passes, but his runs into the final third. And when this is partnered with Manchester City's ability to squeeze high up the pitch, you get a nearly unstoppable force. So, do you think Pep Guardiola is the best coach the Premier League has ever seen? Or do you believe that he is simply reaping the rewards of having one of the most expensive squads in Europe?